in this video we are going to solve problem f2-24 from rc Heberler engineering statics 12th edition according to the problem determine the resulting force at a so we can clearly see that at point a we have two forces directed out outwards which are fc and fp to solve to find the resultant force at A, we have to first resolve these forces into Cartesian vector form. So for Fc, and we also know that a vector contains a magnitude and its direction. So we have to resolve Fc so we know into a vector so we know a magnitude of fc and its direction mm, direction fc and we also know that we can use unit vector to find the direction because it has magnitude of 1 so it will not affect the values but we can find the directions from the unit vector the unit vector at C equals position vector at C divided by its magnitude. For position vector, now we have to find the coordinates. So we have three points here A, B, and C. For FC force, we have two important points A and C. So coordinates. of A R if you walk 2 meters from x axis from origin we have positive 2 and if we no we have nothing in y axis because it is on the plane of z and x axis so it's 0 for z axis we are going 6 units upwards so it's 6 and the parameter is in fit ok so we have point c which has coordinates we go 4 units from x this line this is negative 4 because it is in negative direction also if we go 4 units towards but not 4 units actually it is 3 units right here so we have 3 here also it's 4 units upwards it's 4 fit so now i can find this unit vector which is R A C over R A C magnitude so I have R A C as negative 4 minus 2 I plus 3 minus 0 J plus 4 minus 6 A divided by this this will be negative 6 whole square plus 3 whole square plus negative 2 whole square so uc equals negative 6i plus 3j minus 2k over 7 because it is going to be 49 like 36 9 and 4 we have negative 6 i over 7 plus 3 j over 7 minus 2 over 7 k you see since the magnitude is 1 so we can easily find direction from the unit vector it's the advantage of unit vector that we can easily find the direction 
without affecting the magnitude of the vector. So now I can resolve Fc force into a Cartesian vector form. I know the magnitude which is 490 LBs and its direction which is I plus K over 7 K minus 2 over 7 K. We have Fc negative 420 I plus 210 K minus 140 K Fc in LB. Similarly, I can find this FB force for FB again. FB force is a vector, so we have its direction and magnitude. To find the magnitude, to find the this direction, we are going to use the unit vector at B is equals to position vector at B over its magnitude. Let's call this B A. This is also C A. Let's So we know the coordinates of point A which are 206 for B B is lying on the y axis so it has no component in x axis but 4 fit towards y axis from the origin and 2 fits towards z axis so it's 0 4 2 fit again we can find the unit vector which is just 0 minus 2 i plus 4 minus 0 j plus 2 minus 6 k over will be negative 2 whole square plus 4 whole square plus negative 4 whole square to be equals negative 2i plus 4k minus 4k over 6 to be equals negative 2i over 6 plus 4j over 6 minus 4k over 6 I'm not simplifying it furthermore because it will be simplified in the final answer so fp in terms of Cartesian vector form can be written at its magnitude which is 600 lbs and this unit vector FP equals negative 200 I plus 400 J minus 400 K LBs and to find resultant at A F B plus F C F A equals negative 200 plus negative 420 I plus 400 plus 210 J plus negative 400 minus 140 K F A equals negative 620 I plus 610 J minus 540 K so 
so this is our answer negative 400 400 grade a let me check it once more yeah. all right and so this is our answer i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please feel free to subscribe this channel and also turn on the bell icon for daily updates thank you